I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. The professional's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. Kid Dynamite's approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. Fine looking right hand by the professional. Now committing to that jab, straight hand, and it works out. The professionals feeling the impact of that powerful hook. with that left hook to the body. And this time he adds the right hand on the back end. Good exchange, he fires back. What impact from that uppercut by Kid Dynamite. And a good three punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good flush shot by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. The professional's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Rock'em, sock'em, robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. Good job, good job. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Forceful jab by the professional. We come to the end of the round. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And looking up at these corners, you can see the cutman obviously getting to work as they do after every round. What makes a great cutman? Well, he's got to have the right medicines, the right coagulants to stop that. Usually Avatine, thrombin, adrenaline. But the most important thing, Joe, is he has to be calm. He has to be able to identify where that cut is. Maybe there's more than one cut. So you got to be calm enough to see the whole picture, the whole landscape, clean it off, put pressure on it, get that medicine in there, keep your fighter from getting excited. And then you need a fighter who's going to get on his wheels a little bit, give the medicine a chance to work. How about that? Another right hand. Finish with the big and oh, what a good, strong uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Kid Dynamite. Good block there by the professional. Come on, Comes right 
back with some offense of his own. The professional's fully committed to utilizing the jab, and I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody's radio signal. You know, that's what the jab does. It scrambles your radio signal, or at least in boxing terms, it throws the other guy's rhythm off. And we come to the end of round number two. Hit Dynamite's going with a quality that I think is very underrated in boxing, and that is to be judicious, to really think about when, how, and make the most of each thing you're doing. His punch rate, very, very effective in terms of his percentage landed. Yeah, he's throwing educated punches. You know, he's not wasting anything. He's making everything count, but just as importantly, everything's leading to something else. You know, he's working the body one moment, and that's leading up to some head attack later on. So he's planning everything out like a smart fighter, a guy that understands the sweet science. Combination, jab, uppercut to the head. He's doing what you're doing. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Kid Dynamite. The left hand coming into play by Kid Dynamite. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Right back at him with a left hand. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. <laughs> nice block that time. It was intended to the head. To the head he goes with a left hand. Kid Dynamite showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Carries that punch away. Finish with the That's a plus shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Don't worry now, I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep working that jab, okay? Double up the jab. Four is underway. Teddy's got it a clean sweep. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Keep your distance. <laughs> he returns the favor with a right hand of his own. The professional's got a little something coming back at him, a counterpunch scored. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. The professional's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Good accuracy with that uppercut. Dynamite's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Oh, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. The professional's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. He's losing this fight, and I think it's easy to see why. He's getting hit by that left hand far too much. Well, the most elementary thing, the first thing you're taught in boxing is use your left hand. The second thing, get away from it. I guess you never learned that second thing. Good job. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of me. Okay, listen. I need you to throw three punches. He 
action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. That is a sharp uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Super two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. The professional so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Kid Dynamite's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Doing very nicely, staying way out of range of danger and utilizing his jab. And usually he's a guy, if we were talking about basketball, he's a guy who likes to be in the paint. Hit some layup, do a little dunking. Hey! He's got a jump shot. Kid Dynamite's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. <laughs> Doing well on the outside. Oh, a big shot, a big shot comes home for him. And he walked right into it. Targeting that one, two. He scored well after being hit himself. Kid Dynamite's able to land a good, solid left hand. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. That last round was a great example of the game plan by Kid Dynamite. They want to see clean and effective punching, just landing flush. They got it. Yeah, a lot on the back end. You know, he was stepping out, doing a lot of counter punching, allowing his opponent to do some of his work for him. Coming a little reckless and now look. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. He just missed that shot up top. The combo lands upstairs. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. The professional's combination punching is working well here. Halfway through round six. A well-placed left hand up top. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Locks away that headshot. Nice strike after catching one by Kid Dynamite. The professional's got those earmuffs on, and he's got his hands tight against his body. But Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe. You know, and the, the weather's a little bad, and you say, I, I want to be safe here. I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway. The cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Find the right parking spot. And a nice combo by the professional. Attaboy, keep my fingers. And that's the end of round six. Kid Dynamite's in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as Too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. The professional's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Kid Dynamite's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keep working the body. Keep working the body. 
Doors with the combo to the head. Good flush, straight left hand. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Kid Dynamite's left, working well that time. A clean, crisp right hand by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's showing us that if he pulls this trigger, he's hitting that target. His accuracy is great. Well, that's part of his ability. You know, I mean, it's not just his hand speed and that he's technically good. You know, he's got a little bit of pop but he knows when to throw. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He goes down thanks to a swarming attack. He got caught up in a mixer blade there. power just much too much for his opponent another knockout for him that's what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore always enjoy you tuning in we'll see you next time at the fights